Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are new, hi, hello. My name is Victoria from BX Prada. Um, today's reading is going to be special. It is going to be your birthday reading. So I wanted to give you guys something um, to look forward to this Libra season. All right, so this is a Libra video. Like I said, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Libra. These uh, messages can resonate with you, all right? Right off the bat, I pulled um, a couple Moonology cards to get an overall idea of just the overall energy of this reading today. The first card I got is is it's time to release and then the second card is the hold your vision card okay um you can tell that there's a scorpio on here and then for those who, who you for those of you who don't know scorpio is also a fixed sign um the second card here says fixed moon all right so you could have a moon in scorpio specifically but if you do have any scorpio placements uh, within your chart which is likely for libra placements um these messages are especially for you all right i am seeing that in order for you to manifest the type of experiences you wish to attract and you wish to experience you are gonna have to let go of any type of negativity that is harboring within yourself and holding you back from achieving whatever it is you're trying to bring into reality okay this could be negative thought patterns this could be negative people in your surroundings there's negativity that you are guided to let go as you ring in your birthday or libra season in general you're going to have to be especially uh you know on point when it comes to what it is that you need to cleanse out of yourself and one thing that's really important libra is i know you don't appreciate confrontation it's just not really the energy of libra right um, but there is a way for you to affirm your boundaries and there is a way for you to protect your peace um, while still being, you know, all the things you strive to be, while still being, uh, you know, gentle, while still being respectful, while still being kind. Of course, you don't want to make an ass out of yourself trying to you know set your boundaries unless you're pushed to that level but i'm saying overall you don't need to fear when it comes to asserting yourself okay and that's something that's going to be um you know the kind of like the main focus of libra season okay especially now that we have mars in aries retrograded until like first two weeks of november okay so mars retrograde is going to actually help us turn within ourselves and figure out what motivates us to take action what motivates us to assert ourselves mars is a planet of war so it is the planet of aggression and um like i said asserting your power doing things that put you in a leadership position um a, a position of control and also a position of um of power all right so these are things that are going to be really important for you to keep in mind if you want this year to be significant in any way if you want this year to um, make some kind of change or transformation it's going to require you to release some things and these things are going to be crucial for you to release because you can only heal once you start you know releasing and peeling down those layers of pain and suffering and all this stuff all right so that was my little pep talk for the beginning uh we're gonna go into the overall energy surrounding you know work finances overall spiritual energy oh we got one card that fell on the ground it is the five of swords I'm all right remember when i just told you libra that you can still affirm your boundaries and assert yourself without being a pain in the ass well the five of swords in reverse confirms that people are going to be on their best behavior now i don't know if this is uh just you specifically or if it's a group of people but i feel it's still relatively it's it's a group of people trying to be on their best behavior that means they are biting their tongue that means they are trying not to fight and they are doing anything in their power to avoid any type of confrontation so i'm sure this is great news for you libra i feel so you may have uh you may be calling the shots this libra season people may not get want to upset you and want to get on your bad side and i also see that you will be making an effort not to get so uh pissed off all right <laughs> let's get more for libra more energy surrounding libra so, so we got the empress card ace of swords communication is going to be really difficult i advise you to just sit there look nice do your own thing do do things that uplift you anything that has to do with them beautifying yourself all right so get your nails done get your hairs done wear something that makes you feel like you are somebody okay but don't expect communication to go well um i'm expecting you know uh arguments pettiness any type of verbal uh disagreement that's kind of like the energy that i feel you sh you're going to be trying to avoid all right and with reason ace of swords i also feel so you may not be getting along with another air science so it could be another libra it could be a gemini it could be uh 
what's that? Oh, Aquarius. Yes. Yeah, so I'm feeling like communication is going to be just a little bit difficult. This doesn't mean you're not going to show up and look amazing for your birthday party or on the day of your birthday. I just feel so you're kind of going to be unbothered. I feel so money is also going good. That was another thing I wanted to say. Money is going good. Any type of uh, conflict that you had at work, for instance, these are things that are going to pass because you're not going to be... Uh, you're just not going to be confronted with any type of drama or any type of gossip, okay? Um, I'm also picking up on um, putting an end to gossip, putting an end to rumors. I feel so you may be clearing the air on something or someone may be clearing the air for you. Maybe uh, new information comes out. So proof comes out that someone was lying, that someone was trying to frame someone. I'm feeling as though any type of communication or missing information, like just everything kind of becomes revealed. Um, and I don't feel like you have to be the one exposing everything because I see you here with the Empress card kind of just being beautiful and just oh yeah Libra sun and rising Venus page of cups two of wands all right oh and then the lover's card in reverse so I know this is not the love reading portion already but I mean we got the lover's card in reverse I need to speak about it I really do feel as though you're going to be missing someone during your birthday celebration I don't know if this person is out of town I don't know if this person is traveling but there is mention here of distance between you and someone else and then also with the page of cups is speaking of not having the romance that you uh you've been looking forward to all right so if you've had like big hopes and dreams that maybe someone was going to to come and sweep you off your feet maybe this is someone like i said someone that's traveled someone that uh just isn't physically close to you there is some distance here i feel so this person won't be showing up or this could also be an ex that you are missing but there's someone here likely a romantic interest or this could also be um for some this could be just someone that you really vibe with okay someone that you really love um but for most, I would say there is a romantic aspect because it does say the lovers. I do feel as though there's just someone that you wish you could celebrate this day with or you wish you could hear from. Again, lack of communication, delays in communication. I feel as though this person, they may not reach out to you on the day of your birthday. They may not um, communicate with you. Maybe they're not answering your calls or your texts. But I am picking up on a lack of romance and also kind of... Um, being disappointed with the news that you are receiving okay i'm always going to be honest with you guys i'm not going to sugarcoat the messages but that's what i'm seeing i'm feeling as though someone here is disappointed that they did not hear from another person okay and this, this could likely be another air sign that was what i was picking up on okay or maybe due to distance you aren't able to see each other of course we're in a pandemic so it could also represent you know laws and restrictions um restricting travel okay and for some you may also just simply be in a long distance relationship um and you haven't been able to really sort out what is going to happen you know during your birthday okay maybe there's you know still some details to get sorted out and things are still kind of up in the air okay but i'm feeling as though the information that you will receive libra may not see to be what you were hoping for okay i'm gonna go right into your love reading libra because i see the, the lover's card and i want to see more of what's going on so um overall energy surrounding libra's love life and then we're gonna see who is coming towards libra overall energy surrounding libra's love life okay the full card <laughs> All right, so maybe you are so upset that you are just deciding to have fun, deciding to let loose, deciding not to have high expectations. These are all things that kind of come with the full card. And then we got the Emperor card. We got the, the Ten of Cups in reverse, followed by the Hangman and the Knight of Swords. So again, this is the air sign energy that I was picking up on, that I was telling you about. And then lastly, we got the Three of Swords. All right, so right off the bat, like I said, there's going to be some type of disappointing news. And they may, it may be coming to you sort of suddenly. I pick up on um, short um, short exchanges. And then the exchange is uh, kind of negative or it leaves you feeling as though you are uh, left behind. It's leaving you feeling as though you are... Uh, there's just news that you feel regret towards, okay? And I also feel so you will be taking time to yourself after receiving this news with the hangman. It's kind of speaking of um, being isolated or at least feeling as though you're isolated and um, also needing a new perspective on um, a recent experience that you've lived, okay? So I feel as though you're going to be 
experiencing some type of uh, just a moment of clarity and this moment of clarity is only going to come when you are by yourself okay um with the emperor card this is really um speaking about needing to be independent and remember all i was explaining to you about boundaries and asserting yourself this is the boss energy that i was explaining that i was picking up on i feel so you're not going to be feeling as though you are grounded and that there's like kind of like a lack of harmony surrounding your personal life um so this could be your home life whoever you're living with your living situation this could also be um you know arguments or tension within your family life i feel as though there could also be a father figure that is um affecting you uh likely in a negative way or in a sad way um but i am seeing just like mention of uh, a short exchange of words and i feel as though they you just did not end things in a on a good note with someone and this is something that you may be thinking a lot about um when it comes to your love life um the fool card here does warn you not to do anything too foolish okay it does speak about exciting new adventures and like i said i feel as though um the introspection that you will be um diving into during this time it is going to be very eye-opening eye and i think it's actually going to release a lot of wounds for you and the, so the fool card here is going to speak about the enthusiasm needed in order to um embrace this new uh this new phase of life okay so there's a new beginning uh happening within your love life i think it starts off a little bit uh a little bit uh destructive but then it kind of things i don't know the sun comes out and suddenly you realize that you don't need to be tied down anymore or you're just seeing that you're actually in a way better position that you initially thought you you were in all right so that's what i'm picking up on you may be needing to do more things on your own than you would like i understand that you appreciate companionship and you especially appreciate you know people coming together in unison but i'm seeing that this is not going to over overshadow you know the overall healing that needs to take place right now because right now libra i feel as though you are prioritizing yourself the knight of swords is someone that is um that is very bold and very driven this is someone that um you know they just do what they want to do and they don't put that much thought into it and that this is also someone that is enjoying their single life usually when we see the three of swords it does indicate a separation it does indicate a heartbreak and so i feel as though those of you who are newly single you will be embracing the single life way more all right it's just something about it is just making you feel uh freed okay so we got the full card here okay let's get some energy on who's coming towards you like i said i was picking up a lot on uh air energy we also got aries here and then we also had uh some slight virgo mention so before i name all the signs in the zodiac let's get more on who's coming towards libra what kind of partners coming towards libra so we're gonna get an idea of who they are what their intentions may be let's see who's coming towards libra what energy is coming towards Libra? What kind of partner is coming towards Libra? What kind of partner is coming towards Libra? What kind of partner is coming towards Libra? Okay, I feel so for a lot of you, this could be an old flame. We got the two of cups, so there's definitely history here. This is definitely someone that you, you know, you were bonding with. There was a strong mutual connection here. And then the page of wands, there is kind of an indication of someone from the past. So let me get more. Um, I'm not sure why this dynamic had ended. But I feel as though it might have ended really quickly with the Page of Wands energy. That's like rather, you know, quick energy. Okay, let me. Um, I'm also picking up on a possible fire sign again, Aries. This could also be Sagittarius or Leo. Okay, what is the Page of Wands? What is the Page of Wands? But whatever it is, it does feel like it was like some type of soulmate connection, and then things kind of took a turn for the worse. Now this person may be back, or this person is at least in your surroundings in some way. So either you are thinking about them a lot, maybe their name comes up. Um, just something makes you like rem reminds you of them. But oh my gosh. Okay, so we got the Lovers card again with the Page of Cups again, and then we got the nine i mean the ten of swords um i really do feel as though there was a um there was a trauma or there's some type of um there's some type of reason for you to feel as though you had to either give up on this person or give up on this connection let me get more but then it seems like this person's coming back and they have you know loving words okay let me see the king of wands this is I don't know i'm picking up on water and and fire here all right so we got the page of cups and then we got the king of wands um i do feel so um 
because we spoke about history here i feel as though this person is coming back with a an older energy so this person could be more established either you know in in other parts of their lives or maybe just when it comes to love i feel so this person is um more sure of what they want now but i really do feel as though uh, the um it's time to release negative energy this card here it really does pertain to this ten of swords the ten of swords in reverse speaks about trauma and pain it speaks about needing to overcome near-death experiences it's speaking about needing to overcome something that was extremely painful and now you may be in a position to um, be extremely guarded and even paranoid because this is like obviously negative energy that you're still harboring so i do feel as though in order for this dynamic to work out there is going to have to be some type of conversation they're showing me here that someone will initiate likely the other person will be initiating some type of, some type of conversation i just don't feel as though um it's going to be on your birthday for those of you who are having a birthday i don't feel as though it's going to be on your birthday but i think it's going to be like a few days around that okay because i Okay, let's see um, when will this when will this interaction take place? I'm not sure if it's a full-on reconciliation, but I think you just may be hearing from someone you want that you've been waiting on. Let's see. Okay, interesting. Okay, interesting. Okay, I'm picking up on an invitation. Okay, first of all, they're showing me a lot of uh, Virgo and Aquarius energy. They got the King of Pentacles here, and then we got the Four of Wands in reverse, followed by the Page of Swords. We got the Moon card in reverse, and then we got the Ten of of pentacles i feel as though um moon in virgo may be significant for you or even moon in aquarius so this could be a transit um now unfortunately i don't know off the top of my head when the moon will be in aquarius or in virgo um but i feel as though um this person may be answering uh maybe reaching out to you um so with something pertaining to an invitation okay they're showing me here some type of event some type of gathering some type of um celebration and now this celebration is either canceled or it's postponed this is why this person may be reaching out to you they may be uh you know maybe they've been invited somewhere and they're declining or maybe they are informing you or you're informing them that this celebration is no longer taking place i do uh i am picking up on a wedding specifically because they're showing me an emphasis on family coming together and this is likely like some type of wedding let me see more so they're coming to you telling you they're not attending this or that it's canceled let's see more okay. i feel so if someone is reaching out to you i do feel so it's likely gonna be uh in october okay, let's see more yeah we got the ace of pentacles all right so i feel as though um this conversation may not be going well like i said it's going to be a short and concise conversation i feel as though it's going to be relatively um negative in the aspect that you may have been hoping for some type of you know uh some type of clarity as to what had happened between you two or maybe you're wondering um how you can um, move forward from here but i'm seeing that there's going to be a delay or a um just like an uneasiness surrounding some type of commitment or surrounding a new type of beginning okay so it feels as though there's a missed opportunity here my cat is fighting me but yeah there's like a missed opportunity here so maybe you're really looking forward to having this type of um this type of activity with this person but then it gets declined all right i'm guided to pull some angel love messages Let's see. all right right off bat look wedding card wedding card falls all right let's get more so this says uh this situation involves marriage again this could be a marriage is being postponed maybe uh a proposal is being postponed or something has changed something pertaining to a wedding has changed this could also be people you know getting divorced or getting separated as well all right okay let's see more for Libra. i'm so sorry it's be the bare bad news with these cards all right, we got the unrequited love card. So 
that obviously makes sense that there's some type of separation going on. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, okay? So um, this could be pertaining to the relationship I was speaking of, kind of coming back and trying to resume, but then it's going to be as though uh, you're not really going to be able to pick up where you left off necessarily. There has been some changes, and I think that these changes are actually going to reveal to you that it is actually time for you to move on to a different phase uh, within your love life or just in general. Remember, it's time to release negativity and it's also time to hold your vision. All right, I'm gonna pull one more card for you guys. Oh gosh, okay, more energy surrounding Libra, more energy surrounding Libra, another angel love message for Libra, angel love message for Libra, angel love message for Libra. Okay. Stay optimistic about your love life. This is what I was telling you. You're going to want to likely be in hermit mode and focus on, um, of course, renewing your energy, which is important. But there's also going to be a moment where you will be faced with the decision of how you want to move forward. Do you want to move forward in a negative way? Do you want to move forward in a positive way? Of course, taking the positive route is going to require you to do a lot of internal work and a lot of um, also just cutting ties with whatever you know is no longer serving you so staying optimistic about your love life is um the card says here positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so this is about basically not giving up and knowing that your angels and spiritual guides are protecting you and guiding you along the way all right um i'm guided to end your reading here um, i'm going to probably film another video for the middle of October, all right? So turn on your post notifications for that. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you haven't yet, and thank you so much for watching.